Today I fucked up by having the world's strongest coffee. Warning, there is potty talk. Last November, I got my stomach partially removed, 80%, and I have some dietary restrictions now including no slash little caffeine. I mean I used to see that stuff as suggestions but now I might take it more seriously. I saw Death Wish coffee on sale at Myers yesterday and have wanted to try it since it came out originally but didn't want to have to order online so I picked it up. I was so excited and told myself I would drink it when I need it and waking up for prime day deals meant I needed it today oops. About 5 minutes after drinking it I started to feel jittery and bouncy so I knew I may have fucked up but thought I would just get extra hyper because of caffeine basically being absorbed a billion times faster than other people's bodies would. I decided to take a shower after I got too jumpy to see if maybe it would calm me down a bit. Instead I learned what dumping syndrome is. Dumping syndrome syndrome can cause rapid heartbeat, feeling of fullness, lightheadedness, cramping, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Basically long story short, I was jumping around, singing my heart out and dancing in the shower when my stomach started hurting really bad. I bent over a little as one does when they are cramping and instead shit all over the side of my shower. Explosive ass diarrhea. It was horrible and it didn't even make my stomach feel better so with my stomach still hurting I had to clean up the shower and myself. I want to die both of embarrassment and pain. Now I am laying in fetal position on my bed, regretting all of my life decisions. Too long didn't read, I explosive shit all over my shower. Hey at least you were in the shower and not somewhere else when it happened. Oh I know. I am lucky as all hell. This could have been much much scarier especially since covid is happening. I kept thinking what if this happened in the Kalamau? Act like nothing happened maybe it will clean itself. If only I was a child still because that is exactly how I lived my life at 5 la madame adulthood. At least it was in the shower, which is easy to clean, and not in public, and you were close to a toilet. Take it from a lifelong IBSD sufferer, I feel your pain and I too sometimes forget to not eat trigger foods, and I've probably fucked up much harder than you in similar ways in the past. I hope you start feeling better soon. Also remember to sip plenty of water as the diarrhea and coffee will have dehydrated you. My mum has IBS and she shit herself in white leggings at Walmart before so I definitely no it could have been worse ha ha. Already got a water bottle luckily. Thank you. For those of you curious, Death Wish tastes like pretty good dark roast with truck stop caffeine tablets crushed up in it. It's not bad, but you see I taste the caffeine in it. Strongly. I made espresso with Death Wish. Tasted like cleaning products 10 tenths will never do again. Shower is the second best place to shit yourself indoors after a toilet. Ah but if you're on the toilet you're not really shitting yourself are you? Today I fucked up by showing my boob to the postman. Today I fucked up by showing my boob to the postman. This actually happened a wee while ago, but the incident has traumatized me and I am quite certain the local postman as well. I am currently a stay at home mum with my 5 month old son and loving every minute of it. However, since it's just the two of us at home all day I don't always cover up properly as I would if people were home. One particular afternoon I was breastfeeding my son, and he blimmed and puked everywhere. I made sure he was okay, put him on the floor and ran off to the room to grab some new clothes and towels for clean up. On the way back to him, there was a knock on the door and without any hesitation I just flung it open. Seeing the shock on the postman's face that quickly turned to awkwardness and feeling the crisp breeze on my nipple, I quickly realized I had opened the door with my boob just casually hanging out my singlet. Holy shit, I've never been so bloody embarrassed in my life. I haven't ordered anything in a while, but had something arrive this afternoon. I was properly dressed today, but it was still an awkward encounter with the local postman. Neither of us said anything. FML lol. Too long didn't read. Today I fucked up by having my boob out for the postman. At least it will stop me from spending too much money online. I wouldn't worry too much about the postman being traumatized. Agreed. I'm sure 90% of men being embarrassed at seeing boobs unintentionally is them being concerned about the trauma the woman will feel at being seen. Hey you know what they say. 
A nipple a day keeps the mailman away ha ha jk I'm embarrassed for you lol. I mean, or. A nipple a day gets brings more mailmen your way. It may have been the highlights in an otherwise gloomy day for him. You, well, your boob, might have spoken to him, in its own special way, how you doing, mate? Things will look up for you shortly. And off he went with a spring in his step and a hope for a brighter future. You're a hero. I want what this guy's on. I showed the same Amazon delivery man my boobs twice in one day, at two different houses. At home I just pull my shirt off most of the time to breastfeed because why not? Trying to nurse with clothes in the way is annoying. So I'm sitting on the couch with one hand holding my boob and one hand holding baby trying to stuff my boob into my very tiny baby's mouth because he's hungry and tired and having a little trouble latching. My older kids had been outside and left the front door open when they came in. So it's just a glass door with the couch a few feet in front of it and me with my boob in hand sitting on the couch. I hear a noise and look up and see the Amazon delivery man on the porch very obviously trying to avoid looking at me. Oops. He leaves, I load up the kids to go to my sister's to watch her kids while she runs some errands. The kids all want to play outside so I'm sitting on the front steps when baby gets hungry again. Their house is kind of angled on their property so the delivery people will often park toward the side of the house house and walk through the grass and cross the driveway to the front door, which is set back a bit and hidden by the garage. Since it's mostly private and I don't want to leave the kids outside alone, I pull my boob out, just as the same Amazon delivery driver walks around the corner to drop off a package. He had some serious deja boob that day. When I was a postman I delivered a package to a house that had a sign, please leave deliveries on back porch. So I lugged the stupid heavy case of Fiji water they'd ordered all the way around the house, to find a woman sunbathing in the nude in the backyard. I knew putting down the heavy box of water would make enough sound for her to hear, so I called out delivery for you as I put it down, and walked very briskly back to my vehicle. Good. Bad. I don't know. But it was definitely the most exciting delivery I made for months. Hilarious. I love our posty, as Azam, he was the only adult conversation I had during lockdown, poor guy, and he tells a similar story. How Sona has informed him to put packages around the back of the house if they're not in. It's a hot day, he rings the doorbell, no answer, so, as per prior arrangement, goes around the back, opens the gate to see the lady of the house sitting in a lounger and hastily pulling a towel up over herself. I believe he made a similar exit to you. Smiley face. Today I fucked up by telling a customer to say please. Alrighty so I'm a barista and a shift lead and I'm also 20F. So I have to put up with the rudest most uncomfortable customer interactions on a daily. Today was no exception. Right after our peak during which I was alone on bar making drinks for the entirety of, an older man walks up and barks out his order for a decaf latte. Oh hello, please, or thank you just give me a decaf latte. He pays I go to make the drink and as I'm doing it he walks around to the other side of the counter and straight up yells make sure it's decaf got it. Without missing a beat and without even thinking about it I yelled back make sure it's decaf please. I swear I saw steam come out of dude's ears. OFC he asked to speak to the manager and TA da imaging how much angrier he became upon hearing that I was running shift aka the highest up person in the shop he could talk to. He proceeded to berate me for not knowing my place and not respecting my elders. I let him get it out of his system and simply replied I'm sorry if I inadvertently offended you. My parents raised me to have manners which include saying please and thank you rather than shouting my demands. Have a nice day. I'm probably gonna clock into a colorful customer review tomorrow but it is what it is. Not my fault the old geezer never learned the basics of being polite. Too long didn't read, an old man was being a demanding customer and I implied he had no basic manners. Edit slash update. Jeez Louise some of y'all feel very strongly about this Lamau I appreciate all of the like-minded individuals. It really just more so a reflex than a deliberate response. I babysit a lot. 
but the positivity is wonderful regardless lol. So far nothing negative has come of that splendid lil interaction, my GM didn't say anything to me so I'm not finna say anything about it to him and call it in the clear lol. Thank you for the laughs reading the comments. Respect elders that show respect, not just because they've been lucky enough not to die young. I used to work with a guy that said that kinda stuff to rude customers all the time. Lol he gave zero fucks if a person was offended or not as long as his comments were warranted. Best part was he said it with a killer smile and in the most deadly sweet tone of voice lol any customer would have been foolish to try to argue back. Even if they did, he turned to walk away while saying something to the effect of well I've got some very patient and nice people waiting on me so let me know when you're ready to be helped. Not once in the years we worked together did he ever receive a customer complaint. You did not fuck up, fuck that guy. My mom worked as a cashier at a drugstore. She didn't acknowledge people who barked orders like Marlboros, Newports, or she would play dumb about what they wanted. Sure you might get a complaint, but you aren't wrong. Also, respect for elders? All his age had nothing to do with it. That's what I'm saying. I don't have the mom energy to pull off that power move yet but I fucks with your mom's vibe lol.